A lot of people have heard of straight pull guns like the Ross or maybe even the Schmidt Rubin, but a 22 straight pull, that's exactly what Browning had in mind in the 1970s, and they even make them today. Browning was able to bring the idea of a straight pull bolt action to their line of 22s in 1965. Uh, the Browning T-Bolt uh, became a staple at scout camps across the country, 4-H shooting events uh, from the late 60s, and it still continues to this day. The Browning T-Bolt is, is, is a unique design, and it's unusual still today in the realm of 22 rimfire rifles. Um, most 22s uh, in the old days, you called these guns cat guns that sat behind the back door and you typically either had slide action or so-called trombone action uh, guns, or you had bolt actions. And bolts were by far the most uh, common, eventually the, the, le the least expensive. The T-Bolt was a really unusual design that came to Browning uh, Company and was recognized for its uniqueness and its, its viability. And they figured, you know, we can, we can do this. We can make this gun and it'll be kind of a different gun. The key to the Browning T-Bolt is its ball and socket locking system. So you have essentially two lugs, one a small circle, one a large circle, small circles on the left side. And they are linked to the bolt handle by a pin at the back. So literally you just pull back on the bolt handle and it disengages from both of those locking recesses in the receiver and comes straight back. And then you push it forward and both of those ball and sockets go back into battery. It's a very, very clever system. My first experience with the T-Bolt came at Camp Bowman at Boy Scout Camp. And when I was the shooting sports director, we had this volunteer by the name of Jake Jaquith. He was an old time scout master and an NRA certified instructor. And he would come down with his troop every week and he would volunteer in the rifle range and he would bring his T-Bolt with him. And it was fitted with a peep sight and it had a very good trigger. And at that time we had Marlins with dubious sights. And we had a hard time sometimes with certain scouts getting them to qualify for the merit badge. If we had a scout that was struggling, we'd call Jake over and ask him to work with this scout. And there was no scout that Jake took the time with that didn't earn rifle shooting merit badge. So my friend Jim Norell found out that my son, Duncan, was left-handed. And so he made a gift to me, really to Duncan, of a left-handed Browning T-Bolt. Jim was a huge fan of the gun and he used to squirrel hunt with it all the time. And in later years, kind of like Jake Jake with, I would head down to Camp Bowman, the rifle range I used to run, uh, with my son's troop, and I'd volunteer at the rifle range. And I would bring that left-handed T-Bolt that Jim presented Duncan with me. And it had a little fixed four-power loop hold on it, still does. And I would be the guy. They would call Mr. Keefe over and bring the T-Bolt for a scout that was struggling to qualify for the merit badge. In uh, 2006, the T-Bolt was reintroduced with a number of changes and improvements. It now has a 10-round, uh, what they call double helix magazine, where the, the rounds are arranged in a sort of uh, uh, S or uh, 8 shape. It's uh, very, very easy to load, fits flush with the bottom of the stock. Uh, they can be had in left-hand or right-hand versions. You can have the uh, standard sporter or the target varmint uh, version. Wooderson synthetic stock, uh, still widely popular with a large number of options to fit every shooter. As far as collectability on T-bolts, it's a uh, it's a great design. It's got little, you know, few flaws to it at all. And, and still makes a tremendously uh, uh, practical firearm for today uh, to use. If, if you uh, find a good operating, you know, T-Bolt, the collector's uh, realm, it's going to be fairly inexpensive. But I bet you're going to tr have to try a lot harder to find one in your mint condition because most of these guns saw a lot of great fun.
and so they're they, they're going to show the wear that they so richly deserved.